five personal portfolios that would remind you what thing different really means. Hi here, Philip there. Let's go. Portfolio number five. I think websites like this is a very accurate preview of the future of web. Unless, of course, a bold short man with a tiny penis. In this case, a preview of the future is this. I can explain. This website is like dressing your wheelchair grandmother as a steam train locomotive. You know, she is not a locomotive, but it looks very realistic. Like early 2D games would sometimes imitate 3D without the actual technology being there. This website mimics the UI placed in a 3D environment. Humans have a slightly over 210 degrees forward-facing horizontal arc of the field view, and the vertical range is about 150 degrees. We can move left or right, up and down, forward and backward, move various objects on these same axes and arrange them in a 3D space around us. We can do all that, and we spend our days poking a flat rectangle the size of a passport, a snorkel mask from Apple just came out, and it might indeed indicate the beginning of the new era of facial convoluting. <laughs> And it might indeed indicate the beginning of the new era of spatial computing. There was a time when a mobile phone looked like this. And now you can call anyone without even needing to have a physical device at hand. Call pizza delivery! Dialing, dialing. It looks like in the future all devices will disappear completely, dissolve in the environment and all UI will become spatial. And that's when your grandmother turns into a real steam train locomotive. That's the time when the sites like these will shine. But it actually would already be interesting to see how Apple Vision would affect UI and web design. Would we be able to build spatial 3D web experiences for it? Portfolio number 4. This is not HTML5 and not CSS. Do you want to guess what this is? Pause the video now for a rare chance to win a motorized cement mixer. It is all SVG and Matter.js, a JavaScript physics engine. But it doesn't matter. What matters is, is that this website is in a retro style. And it's the point that I've already made in my... <laughs> and the reason it's important, I've already mentioned in one of them. Basically, the long story short is that you can find inspiration anywhere in time. Your website doesn't have to look modern. And another good thing to remember, while we're still all stuck poking a flat rectangle, is that this site's main interaction is based on scrolling, which means this original and memorable experience doesn't change whether you look at the website on mobile or a desktop. Portfolio number 3. Zomba.com Welcome to Zombocom. This is Zombocom. Welcome. This is Zombocom. Welcome to Zombocom. You can do anything at Zombocom. Anything at all. Ha! I... Uh, no, that's... Uh... Portfolio number 3. It looks regular at the first glance, but it isn't. This looks like the ordinary physics, but it isn't. Balls behaving weirdly, flying away, zooming out into nothingness, disappearing. This site is Bill, a semi-trailer truck driver from Iowa, or Antonina, a cashier lady from Eastern Europe. It's definitely not Francesca, a receptionist from an exclusive chain of VIP hotels. What this website basically says is stop making perfect and smooth animations and interactions. They're like a fake smile. Show your character instead and be honest about it. Because nobody's perfect and everybody's imperfections are different. Also, it made me think about aliens. In the virtual world, we can create any experiences we want, any kind of weird alien interactions. We can create physics from a different world, or physics on a quantum level. Stop making this similar perfect smooth sh**. Let your visitors experience something they've never experienced before. They will remember you for that. Someone should make a quantum physics JavaScript library. Portfolio number two. Sometimes a striking and memorable feature of your website can be something really subtle, something nobody usually even thinks much about. No, 
a combination of colors. Combining colors with different hues and similar tones, or similar hues and different tones. Pastel and acid, dark and dark, ugly and pretty. I think designers should be thinking about that more, otherwise it's like you have a whole shelf of vegetables, spices, herbs and dressings, and you go ahead and make a salad out of a potato and a tomato. Portfolio number one. Not again, you might think. Not a personal portfolio that looks like an OS again, but this one is really different. And not because it looks like Tim Cook taking acid and then joining a kindergarten workshop. It's because what's on it. A useless chatbot cat. A virtual vandal. A synthesizer that is a sh shrimp. <laughs> synthesizer. A clock that splits the day on 150 hours, with the day starting at minus 25 and ending at 125. What the actual f And this. This, which I can't even classify what this is. This portfolio is one of my favorite kinds on the internet, and not only because it feels like it came from my home planet, it's because that I firmly believe that seemingly useless and weird projects like this is what actually inspires innovation and moves the web forward. Here's the video on exactly that, with an insane portfolio just like this one, and so much more weird and amazing stuff there. Thank you all very much for watching, like it if you liked it, this really helps the channel, subscribe if you haven't, don't forget to look up, and see you soon.